I feel like she's a player that a lot of people are rooting for. She has a tremendous amount of athletic skills. Stolen away, Dantas, left hand, and what a block, but also, or throwing the, the right arm, I should say, the lead arm. She didn't have the ball. Nice finish to Miris Dantas. So many Her different. first basket. Uh, not on the Lynx roster to start this year. Courtney Paris becomes the last Sacramento Monarch currently active in the WNBA. Lynx don't seem to be in any particular hurry here offensively. Dantas will try a left angle three and hit. Damiris Dantas from beyond the arc. Sims with it up top. High screen by Fowles. Sims splits two defenders. Left of the lane. Hesitates. Back up top. Dantas. Can she hit another three? Bingo. Damiris Dantas. Two for two from beyond the arc. I'd say so. The you moment they cut the net down, that, those feelings are the same. But when you open the envelope with your bonus check, I'm sure that was a little different. Dantas after the errand pass by Brooke McCarty Williams. Well, Thornton's got that look in her eye again, Reagan. Plays on. Comes over a little bit too late. And off Brown, pounded by Canada. Tries to stay with her. Dantas pump fakes, drive in. Good help by Mercedes Russell, but even better job there by Damiris Dantas. With 10 on the shot clock. Pick and roll. Now Dantas pops up for the three and strokes at home. Pumps her fist. Big three there, giving Minnesota the lead again. Danielle Robinson weaving through the lane. Demiris Dantas puts the move on Bonner and a nice two for Dantas to get Minnesota on the board. Dantas forces it up and in plus the foul. Her offense just flowing right now, Chris. Dantas will try again, and as you say, Jules, shooters have to shoot, and she finally knocks down her first shot. Turnovers. And it's something that's keeping this Liberty lead where it is. As Dantas connects again. Well, finally, throw this game out afterwards. Two minutes. Can't dwell on losses. You have to have a short memory. Under two minutes to play. Sims kicks it out. Dantas from the wing, and that's good. Timeout, New York. Space. Brown will swing it to Dauntis, cross-court pass back to Robinson. She will drive, kick it out, Dauntis, three, yes! Damiris Dauntis for three. Robinson to the high post, Fowles has it, hands it off to Sims. Here is Dauntis, her first look at a three, she's got it! 5-19, the Minnesota lead, they get the switch. Dauntis will qu quickly put up a three, and she's got her second today, or rather a third today. Sugar Rogers set the check-in for the Aces. Here is Sims. She will drive with her right hand, leave it for Dauntis. That is number four for Damiris Dauntis. Moving passes in that high-low, leading to a really high percentage shot opportunity. Collier will drive, leave it for Dauntis. That's a three, and she's got it. Got the switch. Derica Hamby is on Robinson and Tamara Young on Dantas. She's going to attack into the paint. Fall away. Goats. Young ball above her head from the wing. Wilson looking for the high low to Cam Beige. And it's stolen away by Minnesota. Danielle Robinson. Wrap around pass to Demiris Dantas. She'll get it into Robinson at the logo. Hamby on her. Demiris Dantas has Cam Beige on her. She's going to drive, try and step through Wilson. The basket and the foul. Eight points as the Lynx establish her right away in the second half. And that could be the difference in the second half is can Sylvia Fowles make an impact in this half? She only had six because of foul trouble in the first half. Can she play the whole second half and be effective? He knows that her team needs her to hit that shot in this game. Durr hits a basket for New York and then Dantas! In the world did she get that shot to fall? Her fouls five minutes in and was never really on the floor enough to be effective. Dantas straight away, she buries a three. It works for two for Indiana on that possession. Dantas on the rookie, spins around her and a nice move from Demiris Dantas. Fowles in on McCowan, gives it back to Dantas. That three goes and a big shot from Demiris Dantas on a second look. Second road win. 
Moved to 6-5 and five on the season. Dantas straight away. That's good. And a big shot from Demiris Dantas. Dantas for three. Welcome back. From the three-point line last time. Yeah, first time these two teams played to your point. 22 points and six assists by Dantas. Sims, your left arm go right. And taken by Sims. Sims will leave it for Dantas for looking for her first three. She has got it. Dantas. I don't know what kind of rush Cheryl Reed was talking about. Beaver can take their first lead. Mitchell trying to find her Ohio State teammates. That needs to be a drop down bounce pass. Robinson lays it in and a whistle. Might be the dream's turn to run. Sykes trying to get engaged with her offense early, rejected by Dantas. Here's Collier. Grabs her own miss. Another slow start for Nafisa Collier, just one of four from the field, but she kept the possession alive, and Dantas reigns it down. So far this season, off the high screen by Fowles, that picked off Williams. Here's Dantas right side, three balls up and in. Namiris Dantas knocks it down from beyond the arc. As they missed five of their first eight shots. Now hit three of their last five. Tied to Sims. Sims just one of four shooting tonight. Does have three assists. Shot clock winding down again. And Demiris Dantes, who has you know, really struggled since coming back from the calf injury. Sims almost loses her dribble. High screen from Fouls. Reverse back to Dantes for three. And Demiris Dantes starts things out for Minnesota with a three-pointer to Dantes. Sims pushing. Her pass tapped away, stolen. And it is a three on one. Powers is blocked by Dantes. A three on one, and Dantes stops it. Deladon gets it, sneaks past. Dantes blocked from behind as she was going to pump fake against Fouls. The defense tonight, some in on her back to Sims. Fouls will drive, leave it for Dantes, and that is good for three. Demiris Dantes. Air ball by Collier, 10 on the shot clock as they're moving the ball still around the perimeter, find Dantas in the same spot. And that one does fall for the Lynx. Find some type of space and get some offense going for the Lynx. Lexi Brown turns down a three to get Dantas one. Here has Thornton on her, takes a dribble, dumps it down into fouls. Here is Dantas, sets her feet for three and knocks it down to put the Lynx up 5-0 a minute 30 into this game. Points, now four rebounds and three assists for her. She has it beyond the three-point line. She's going to shoot a three over Glory Johnson and knock it down. That's her second today. Robinson uses a screen from Dantas, goes to the other side of the floor. Collier deep inside to Dantas, and she's got a three-point play opportunity. Here is Brown, Agumba Wale guarding her. She'll get it to Dantas for three. Yes for Demiris Dantas. That is three-pointer number three for wire to wire win. Augustus to Dantas down low in the paint. She's backing down, then fading away against Christina Nigue. Just so smooth. Perfection. Coach Reeve talked about she influences the players just by being on the court with them. Dantas, baseline three, and the Lynx needed that. See Plum, and here's Dantas. Taking on Asia Wilson. Nice move and nice finish by Demiris Dantas. Just single elimination games in the playoff. So spots one and two are huge. Dantas nails it. Robinson. High screens from foul. She tries to work through traffic. Here is Dantes. Bounces in rhythm. Knocks down the three. Minnesota. Robinson over half court. Dantes. Extended defense from Dew using all of her hands. And Dantes fakes the pass and drives. That's what happens when you play chest to chest with Demiris. Dantes. Dew can't finish on the alley oop. Robinson drives, kicks. Dantes. Good look at three. She knocks it down. 
Robinson to Sims outside the three-point line. Screen from Fag Benle. A little head fake from Sims finds Dante. She'll try for three again. And she's got her third in this first half. Robinson outside the three-point line. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Sims faces up. Jab fake. Gets it into Dante. And she spins in the lane. Collier, who's already scored tonight, crossed the 400 point mark for the season. Fouls deflected into the hand of Dantes, and that will count. Of late, the reigning WNBA Player of the Week, also the Player of the Month of August. Here's a three, up and good for Dantes. Around the wing, they work it. Dantes around Sancho Little, the jumper hits. Dantes gets around a foul screen, back to Sims. The January guarding her. No Diana Taurasi tonight for Phoenix, out with a hamstring injury, and Damaris Dantas. Only two players in double figures, Griner who's out, and then Mitchell with Tim. Here's Damaris Dantas who got the night started well for Minnesota, and she's going to end it well too. And here, LA is pulled to within four. Dantas with the big three. I also think Minnesota can't forget about Sylvia Fowles. Big three for Dantas, her second of the game, but first since the first quarter. Picked up Sue Bird last year. Bird missing all of this year with a knee injury. And Canada has responded. Dantas with the nice turnaround. And boy, Dantas has been a difference maker on this Lynx team. And she said we weren't highly engaged in that team. And she wondered maybe it was the pressure that got to them. Boy, Dantas having a nice game.